Our world has never been as mobile as it is today. With the growing volume of traffic, our demand for fuel also increases. However, this must largely be obtained from unsafe, crisis-ridden regions around the world. Furthermore, CO2 emissions also increase when fossil fuels are burned. And then, our planet really starts to work up a sweat. In order to protect our planet and, at the same time, ensure our mobility, we need sustainable solutions. Biofuels already offer a vital alternative to traditional fuels. They play a significant role in safeguarding the energy supply and ensuring jobs in the agricultural sector, as well as reducing CO2 emissions. But how? Biodiesel in Germany is primarily made of rapeseed oil, but also from used cooking oil, palm and soybean oil. Strict and thorough sustainability regulations guarantee that all biofuels used in Germany are produced in an environment and climate-friendly manner. For example, it states that in order to grow the necessary raw materials, the rainforest may not be cut down. Of course, international producers also have to abide by these rules if they want to export to Germany and Europe. To produce biodiesel, the plants needed are grown on existing arable land or fallow fields. This does not lead to a shortage of food. Quite the opposite, in fact. Around 60% of the oilseed grains are left in the oil mill after oil extraction as rapeseed meal, which is turned into valuable, high-protein feed for animals. The Sustainability Ordinance protects natural habitats on the one hand, and on the other hand, it also guarantees that the production of raw materials and manufacture of biofuels emits fewer greenhouse gases than the production of fossil fuels. This is why biodiesel made from rapeseed oil reduces CO2 emissions today by more than 60%, thus playing a key part in fulfilling climate protection targets, especially in sectors where electromobility is not a viable alternative, even in the future. Nevertheless, the future of biodiesel and bioethanol after the year 2020 is contentious, even though the proportion of fossil fuels used still totals almost 95%. Also, considering that e-mobility only represents 9% of renewable energy in road traffic, it quickly becomes clear that the alternative energy transition can only succeed with the help of biofuels. After all, these make up 91% of all renewable energy sources in the transport sector. If the governmental support for biodiesel and bioethanol ended, it would not only be environmental targets that were at stake, but also jobs, investments and public trust in EU legislation. In order to implement the energy transition within the mobility sector, we need a bouquet of different measures, such as e-mobility for individual transport, traffic reduction, shifting traffic to rails, bicycles and more pedestrians, and biofuels. Everyone will benefit from this, the economy and the environment, and we will all be winners in the end.